This project started three and a half years ago, and it started um, in the mind of uh, Michelle Hoffman Trotter. And Michelle is a marine biologist. We met first about about a year ago, and started talking about her project. And from the beginning, I could see it was a very exciting and unique project um, because people talk about global warming, climate change. They talk about the health of the ocean, but no one has really talked about the microscopic life of the ocean. And most people don't understand how important that is. We had about three months to pull together the budget and the uh, equipment to be able to go on this trip. And that was a big challenge because we had to get together the highest quality equipment and we had to have enough money to travel there and take care of any other kind of financial needs that came up. It's very exciting to be doing a project in what we call STEM, uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. There are actually a lot of women who are working in that now and more and more young women are studying it in uh, high school, college, and graduate school. I had spent the last 15 years just working on biographical documentaries and I really had a hard time seeing how I could make a transition to working on a science documentary. What I've discovered since working with Michelle on microcosm is that the science stories are human stories. First of all, there's the scientists who are really our heroes. They are the people who are going out there and doing this cutting edge research, which will have a huge impact on humanity and the health of the ocean. The more we understand what's going on in the most basic level of the ocean, the more we can make life better for people all over the world. By showing this microscopic life, we hope to inspire people to know more about the ocean. We hope to inspire uh, young people to get involved in the whole STEM world, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And we hope that they want to investigate more about what is happening to our Earth, not just on the bigger level, um, about hydrocarbons coming into the atmosphere, about plastic being dumped in the ocean, these are all really important things, for sure. But scientists can look at the smallest level, they can look on the most fine-tuned level of research, and that that can show us answers to helping us solve some of these problems. We are connected, we're connected to each other, and we're connected to the world. And um, we're at a point in our development as a species now where we have to make some big decisions about whether or not we are going to be able to survive. This isn't about whether the Earth can survive. This is about whether we can survive as a species. And um, we have this ability as a species to solve our problems. And um, making this movie is showing people that there are, are ways for us to solve our problems. It's, it's not about doom and gloom, it's about hope. And that's to me what, what the movie is really about.